In Egypt, Islam isn't just about fasting and prayer. In fact, this mosque in Cairo has a workout gym. Islam say uh, we must uh, do sport. We must everybody uh, do sport. Though childhood obesity probably wasn't an issue the Prophet had to worry about. Four. The mosque also offers archery and yoga, but by far the most popular after-school activity is their boxing club. It keeps the young men out of trouble and teaches them hard work, discipline, and good sportsmanship. The one thing they're not required to do is join in the nightly prayers. Even though it's a mosque, Christians are welcome. When it comes to sports, Islam, they say, does not discriminate. But perhaps most unexpectedly of all, the mosque also supports a theater group. They put on several performances each year, written and directed by this man, the unstoppable Muhammad. He casts both men and women, old and young. And works hard to bring out the best in each and every one of them. They clearly adore him. All too soon, it's opening night and the girls are really nervous. The solution, apparently, is makeup. <laughs> and plenty of it. Even purple hair. Not what you'd expect from a mosque-supported theater group. A headscarf is completely optional. To them, it's just a fashion choice, not a religious statement. And the play begins. They're clearly not afraid to take on tough social issues. There's a story about a drug kingpin and his addicted acolyte. Domestic violence. Alcohol, which is forbidden by the Quran. Sexuality, both girls and boys. Prostitution. <laughs> Street kids. <laughs> with plenty of dramatic monologues. <laughs> and most surprisingly of all, politics. And they don't pull any punches. The people happy and carefree. A country united, then torn apart. And the horror and bloodshed that followed. Little do they know, the Cairo will soon be bathed in blood again.